Hi, in this video, we're just briefly going to introduce the natural numbers. So the natural numbers are basically the positive integers. So the symbol we use in mathematics to represent them is a big N like this. And if you write it in a set notation, it would basically be the number one, the number two, the number three, etc. And it just goes on forever. And so these, these are called the natural numbers. And these were first used in counting, because you can count, you know, one, two, three, four, etc. All right, so they're also called positive integers. That's really important to know. And also, something else that needs to be mentioned is that some authors sometimes include zero. So some authors sometimes include zero. And I personally don't like that. Um, so what I tend to do oftentimes when I'm referring to natural numbers is I call them positive integers. But uh, just be careful or be aware of uh, the textbook you're reading. But most of the time, people start at one. So one is typically uh, the smallest natural number. If you take two natural numbers, say uh, A and B, so if you take A and B in the set of natural numbers, so this means belongs to or is a member of the set. And again, this is the set of natural numbers. So if you take two, two natural numbers, this implies that the sum, A plus B, is also a natural number. And that the product, A times B, is also a natural number. Now, it's not necessarily true that the difference is a natural number. Um, so the difference... of two natural numbers need not be a natural number. And let's 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 prove this statement so we can do that, right? Why not? So if you take uh, let's say um, two and seven, these are both natural numbers. 7 minus 2 is 5. That's a natural number, but 2 minus 7 is negative 5. And that is not a natural number, so it does not belong to the set of natural numbers. So the natural numbers are very important. Um, you see them a lot in all areas of math. Um, this property here, whenever you have two natural numbers and then that the sum is in the set of natural numbers, we say that the natural numbers are closed under addition. So that's what this means. So this is closure under addition. And they're also closed under multiplication, right? So this would be closure under multiplication. So we said this is closed under addition and multiplication. Obviously, it's not closed under subtraction. It's not closed uh, under division, uh, etc. So yeah, hopefully uh, this has been helpful to you. Take care.